90.1 WECS, something different. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Something Different and something different that we haven't done in a while is have somebody live here in the studio. I want to welcome Natalie Hamilton and George. George, do you go by a last name or just George? Lassou. <laughs> Lassou? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, we're good. We're on the fly. Didn't even get a chance to test the microphones, but we're good. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Hi, Mark. Yeah, we were just nice. saying, uh, you haven't been here for like three years. Yeah. And you look before, great. Since before COVID, you do too. Oh, thanks. We haven't aged. We've I've aged. lost more hair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice. I didn't but notice. Um, you've been staying active and playing a lot of music, I've noticed. I have since um, relatively recently. I started streaming on Twitch about eight or nine months ago, and that sort of got me back in it. But I, I didn't really do anything during the whole pandemic. Really? Yeah, not musically. I did Were you just binge-watching or what? Stream. I wrote a book. Oh, get, get out. <laughs> I was going to say, did you I write mean, another musical? I Well, it was, I basically, the musical that I had been writing, remember I told you about that? Yeah. I was like, well, that's never going to happen. So I said, well, let me write this as a book. And I did. Oh, wow. And I just did that like 16 hours a day for the pandemic. Oh, sorry. Can you, can you hear me now? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. So I just, um, I just wrote kind of around the clock. Uh, and then I taught some piano lessons. And then other than that, that was. Okay. So you, you weren't. You were productive. You weren't uh, binge watching the whole pandemic. That's good. No, 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 no. Oh, I was very productive, but just in a very kind of private way yeah yeah we all handled the yeah the covid thing but not in our musically. own way musically i i practiced a lot of piano scales there you that go that's about it <laughs> no you know you, you did something though that, yeah. that was good yeah how about you george taught a lot i actually you know uh when the collapse first happened and all this we had to go to completely like um online mm. i ended up writing so many uh like lesson plans for students, ah. because I would just write in their book, you know, whatever they wanted to learn or wanted to. So I ended up almost writing like a book too, but it's just all like music theory and tons of transcribing, tons. Yeah, so it's like I could probably like kind of do two books at this point. Cool. But I, I so I'm, I'm just using all the material to pretty much teach. I teach a lot and play a lot and travel and the whole night. Like everyone else, you know, we're all just hustling. Yeah. yeah. Do what you, you can, right? It, it becomes like. The lifestyle, yeah. I, guess, I think, you know. George plays in this band called Eight to the Bar. Get that's, out, really? Yeah, that's who I'm playing with today. They're oh, famous. wow. Yeah. In Rhode Island. Yeah. Yep. They have been around a long time. Yeah. Since 1975. Since, like, before I was born. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. So you just recently joined them, or? I, it, February was my first gig. Oh, cool. Of this year, so however many months that That's is. a great party band, I gotta oh, yeah. tell you. Yep. People are always dancing. I mean, mm -hmm. we definitely have... A, a specific crowd, but especially like the swing dancers, and everyone dances. Wow, oh, cool. Do you mostly um, do you do solo work, or are you just mostly do, as a supporting musician? I, I do every everything that could possibly be <laughs> anything done you can get right. In music, I do it. Yeah. <laughs> and if it, if I haven't done it, I will do it. Cool. Some way, somehow. And how how did you kind of meet up and start playing together? Well, he actually was renting an apartment in an apartment building that my family owns. And a f he was with a woman at the time who also was living there that I knew, but through my uncle, who was a landlord. So we basically met through my uncle, who was a landlord, yep. <laughs> because they were living in the apartment building. And George and I became friends, and we're still friends. Cool. You know? And, um, yeah. And we awesome. actually wrote one of these pieces together. But you just together. never know, like, yes, yeah. We wrote one of these pieces together in that building. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Well, at least part of it. Yeah. We started it. Yeah, like yeah. six years ago, something yeah, like that. Yeah, a while ago. And that, so that's, like, professionally done. That's, like, uh, oh, yeah, scored got, and everything. That's, huh? that's, what, that's have, what I do. We have charts, kids. <laughs> wow. We have charts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's great to see you guys again. Uh, or yeah. at least see Natalie again and now see you, George. <laughs> Um, do you want to do a song while I take a moment to breathe? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
I, I just, it's a, weird jumping in, especially when I only have an hour show now. So I have I know, to and, pack and everything the in travel here. Travel here. I I had planned on getting here an hour early, but you know, at least I got here early ish. Do you want to start with one off the album? Can we talk about this? Yeah. Um, so about this. yesterday you released yeah. the new album, Songs for it's Sorrow. Songs for Sorrow. Is this online? Yours too? Yeah. No, my, my, it'll go on later on okay. YouTube. Yeah, it's called Songs for Sorrow. So it has 12 songs. Um, some of them, like God and Dawn, was previous release, yeah. sort of in these demo forms, you know, without. Um, I never did a proper album that I also just pushed properly and marketed properly and um, that sort of thing. So I had these songs kind of laying around and um, I decided, wow, let me do this. And, and when I chose all the songs together, uh, you know, this, there was a bit of sorrow there. I noticed that, oh, yes, this is following a kind of a grief cycle, you know, and um, so it's a And grief for what? Grief. Well, I think... Um, you know, like love and loss, but then the redemption that happens afterwards, after you go through the cycle of just grief. A general in general or over specific stuff in general the past. General or specific, yeah. you know, yeah, okay. depending on the person. But. And these songs all kind of relate to that. Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So it's like kind of like a concept album, kinda. It's kind of like a concept album. I think they all should be concept albums. I'm, I'm biased. <laughs> I'm biased, though. So do you want to start off with um, Mountain Man? Yeah, let's start off with Mountain I, Man. I've heard, listened to this several times already. Uh -huh. I love this. And, then, and the other one I already knew, God and Donna. I love that song. Good, good. We'll so we'll get to that, that one later. All right, so, so here we go. Natalie Hamilton with Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Ninety point one W E C S something different. That is was Mountain Man by Natalie. I almost said Natalie Merchant. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Hamilton. Hi, hi, hi. It's one of those days. Uh, so great to see you again. And um, songs for sorrow released last night. And you did like a, a live Twitch broadcast. Huh? I did. I did a live Twitch. Oh wait, I have to turn your microphone on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, it is. A, there we go. Sorry. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm a I, professional. I did a live Twitch stream, and I had some technical difficulties, so I sort of um, cut it short, but oh. I'll have to make it up to my Twitch folk. <laughs> I, 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 I have to get a new keyboard. <laughs> oh, get out. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I just, I'm, I find that I've gotten used to everything just being in a sort of constant state of crisis management. And somehow I'm just like, oh, yeah, of course. That's what this show is all of about. Of course. It's just constant <laughs> crisis management. I think that's, what, that's called life. That's called life. And then <laughs> art, <laughs> trying to make art sort of bring some other level to it. That, wow. Yeah. So I, I was going to say, I, know, I noticed that you've been doing a lot on Twitch lately. And I think I, I have very little knowledge of it. But for, I think I was told that it was originally like a gaming platform yeah. for people to communicate with each other. Yep. So how's that working out for you? Um, um, well, it's I like it a lot because it has a nice community, um, and the the music in it has grown a lot. So it's not just gamers anymore. Right. I had never even heard of it um, until last dis late December or January, and I basically just checked it out the whole month of January. I was like, oh, this is cool. And while I did that, I sort of just started buying some things that I would need in order to stream. And then I started doing it in February of, of 2020, well, 2022, still mm. February. But, um, and yeah, the people are very nice. That's why I think is, is the kind of advantage of using that platform is, is the interaction mm -hmm. with uh, the community. Yeah, it's great. So yeah. do a lot of people like um, comment during your performances or after and yeah. you talk in between they songs chat, and the stuff whole, like that like the whole time there's the chat is going so they're chatting the whole time pretty much you this know? is how mankind has adapted to the 21st century yeah. it it took me a while to adapt and it's still i'm still a little bit on the outside of it you know there's still some things i don't totally get maybe that other streamers do that just doesn't feel um 
very organic to me or, mm-hmm. or authentic. So I kind of don't do those things so right. much. Um, where it, where it gets into like you're just really trying to keep people entertained, but sort of at the cost of your own artistic integrity. So I really um, shy away from that. And good. but the, I think the good thing about that is the people that come to our little group there and listen is it's just a nice vibe you know i'm just playing usually relatively relaxing songs and we're just talking to each other just like if we were in a living room Mm -hmm. together is how it feels to me at least and is it different than like pre-covid where you're performing live and and you have an audience in front of you there was probably wasn't as much interaction there right you mean like in a venue like a theater or something yeah oh yeah no it's very different i think um well, in some ways it's different. When I'm, it's not different maybe when I'm in a song, it's more laid back. You know, I can make yep. a mistake <laughs> and just acknowledge while I made the mistake, be like, oh, whoops, you know, get that, you know, cause I'm- And then more forgiving. <laughs> yeah, whereas right, like if you're on a stage and you make an error, although once in a while I'll acknowledge it. If it's really bad, I'll be <laughs> like, whoa, there we go. <laughs> Wow. So it's it's its own thing. It's really hard to describe it. Mm. You kind of have to experience. Yeah, it. I haven't. I'll have to tune in some one of these times. I mean, yeah. In the early part of the pandemic, I did a, listen to a lot of performances online, mm-hmm. streamed, and because mm-hmm. that's basically the only way to get some live music. Yeah, yeah. There was a, like a few outdoor restaurants that would have, uh, you know, somebody singing there with their guitar yeah. doing acoustic stuff, but. Yeah. It was hard to find live music, and yeah, it, it was the uh, what was that? Ah, I lost the word I was looking for, but yeah, that, that's all we had. Yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. I wish I had found it during the pandemic, like the height, the height of it, because yeah. then I would have kept making music. But I, I didn't. You know, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> now I know, and now I'm on there. And you're doing wonderful. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> just moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> So do you want to play um, something alive? Sure, let's do a live song. So this um, this song is called Old What's Her Name. And Old What's I, Her Name. And I uh, only have a demo of it recorded, so it's great to be able to play it live on a radio station. It's not on the album? No, this is not on the album. Oh, you heard it here first. Yeah, you, you're going to hear exclusive. Two, two exclusive songs oh. here first that hopefully can be uh, released. Well, they will be released to 2023 both of these just give me a tempo um, <laughs> yeah can you hear george's guitar okay yeah okay i can always bump it up a little bit you ready it's called oh what's her name the first time i saw billy he was playing a lover's game With his hands in his pockets, denying the claim, denying the claim. With old What's-A-Name by his side, oh What's-A-Name. The first time I had Billy, we danced on an empty stage. With my hands in his pockets, we glorified shame. We mastered love's game. While old what's her name was in the west and in the wings. Oh, what's her name? come to me sometimes and he'd give his truth with his lies he'd give me all of his love and I'd give him more time just like a poem or a priest he'd give me all that he could offer the bay with my hands
hands in my pockets I gave up the game I forfeited shame And in his grateful state That old Billy He left me the blame Walked off with old what's her name by his side Oh, what's her name? Oh, what's her name? 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 <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. Absolutely That's the first time George amazing. has played that song. I was going to say, and George is amazing <laughs> because I get. For, Good you're job, quick George. to learn, aren't you? He's a, he's and, a and you're helping learner. him with the tempo, right? And it's, showing it's, him where. It's called to, survival. Wow. It's survival. <laughs> you work well together. You really work well. Thanks. Uh, thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. I wish we could uh, like put that on a vinyl and, and start selling it that performance I know. was perfect well, I, i'd like to record it and and release it on vinyl i think i think my next step will probably be vinyl and digital mm -hmm. and and song. because so many you know even with this i i printed up some cds for songs for sorrow but already people are um i mean people are buying it you know but i almost think they're buying it like as um a souvenir you know they can't uh, you know, actually play i was going to ask you like <laughs> Is it mostly just digital sales now, or are you still pushing out a lot of CDs? Um, those CDs I sell are, well, some of the people from Twitch have ordered some physical albums. And that's great, because it's fun to mail it out to people. And I, mm. you know, if you order the album on Bandcamp, I will send you a personal card. So Aww. it is special, you know. Um, and, but most of it's digital, but I do sell the CDs at live shows. Yep. I find that people like that. They like something to go home with yeah as do i you know yep i bought cds of shows even though i can't play them when i get home i have to still go listen to them on spotify which i despise spotify but you know oh, man. i, I, I should too. rephrase that i don't despise spotify if if people are also purchasing the album from somewhere yeah. so that it actually supports the musician and the mm. artist instead of just some very wealthy men and women in suits yep i hear you but i i won't get negative on it so i'd rather buy the cd at the show yeah and you get to see it live and then you take it home and listen to it again yeah very cool stuff exactly um we're gonna take one quick really quick 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 break as soon as i figure something out here we go hold on we'll be right back okay 90.1 WECS, something different. And stay tuned because in just less than a half an hour, at the top of the hour, we've got the New Music Alliance Radio Hour right here uh, after this show. Featuring this week, I don't recall. I think I'm on it. I think I'm one of the hosts. I think maybe Violet Hostor created the playlist. And Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was Violet Hostor. Paul Wallen and myself are the hosts. Violet did the playlist. There's some awesome songs. If you like a, a, have an eclectic taste, I think you're going to like this show because Violet always finds some interesting songs to put on her show. So stay tuned at the top of the hour right here on this station, 90.1 WECS, the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. And Natalie, I hear that... Uh, you wrote a song and performed a song that is now on the essential Western New England songbook. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, we should play that again today. <laughs> it's, um, it's an amazing song. Yeah, Show You My Love. Yeah. I remember after I met you the last time, I, would just, I couldn't stop playing that song. Oh. It's such, like, like, such a romantic song, I think. It's super romantic. Yeah. It's super hopeful. It's, it's all about 
just wanting to express love, you know, whether, and I think that could be to someone in particular or even just the whole world, you know, Mm -hmm. just wanting to let that out. (laughs) And when, when is a good time? That's basically the whole song is asking is, is now a good time? (laughs) (laughs) You don't want to be too quick. You got to find the right moment. Exactly. Right. So, um, how do you show your love? Do, Do you know the five love languages? Oh, I've heard that there are five love languages, but I, I haven't read that book. It's you know it's you a need, book, right, or something? It, it, it is a book. Um, I never read it. And basically, I took the quiz. It's a, like a five, ten minute quiz. It's cool. Mm-hmm. It's really kind of, it's useful to know for yourself so you know what other people can do to show affection and love to you. Oh. And it doesn't have to be just a romantic. It can be a family member or a friend, a coworker. Mm-hmm. Just like, what do you do, or what can someone do to show that they appreciate you? Basically, uh, yeah. it, it's really cool. I'll have to, um, I'll have to look into all that. I know a little bit about like attachment, like anxious attachment or avoidant attachment, and that sort of thing. And so I'm sort of wondering if it plays into that, like which sort of has to do with how you can, bonded yeah. or didn't bond properly in childhood and then how that plagues you for the rest of your life until you figure it out. <laughs> ah, the woes of dating in the, the uh, new woes. millennium. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I still get emails from an ex-girlfriend sending me the, the five li- 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 Really? Oh, really? <laughs> still get the she's, still, she's still hoping you'll learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, if I just said it one more time. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, forward me that email, George. (laughs) Thank you. Clearly, I clearly I need it. Also, my you know my love life is something to not something to be desired. (laughs) (laughs) It'll happen when you least expect it. I think that's what they say. Yeah. So I'll let you know when that happens. Yes, please. (laughs) We'll compare notes. I'll, I'll. I'll come back on the show. I'll say, guess what? I read about the love languages and everything's perfect now. There you go. <laughs> Some of my favorite times are like those in-between times when the water is just nice and still uh-huh. and there's no movement Yeah, and it's just peaceful. Yeah. Yes. That's like, I think where I want to be. Yes. <laughs> you know, Sometimes you need that break. Yeah. Yeah. Tranquility. I love it. So I, I hate to ask Natalie, but yeah. were you in uh, Newport? The summer during the Newport Folk Fest, by any chance? I wish. I wish I was oh. playing the Newport Folk Fest. <laughs> no, why? Oh, you mean because of Joni Mitchell? Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't oh, there. I was thinking of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was there. I, 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 left, I left early, so I didn't see her up there, though. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Yeah. Can you imagine? It was, well, it was a long day, and I'm like... I just yeah, I left. You're early. like it's not like Joni Mitchell is going to come out and sing and play the guitar. I might as well go home. And it happens to me every time because a couple oh, of years wow. ago, uh, they they always say unannounced, you know, uh-huh. performer. Yeah. And a few years ago when I was there, I left early and it turned out to be John Prine. Oh. Oh. I just wanted to kick myself. <laughs> But, oh, well. So maybe you should never leave early again. <laughs> it's hard when I, you know, I was by myself and it just, mm-hmm. oh, all right. But did you see it online? Yeah, um, I did. Yes. Amazing how she yeah. came back yep. after yep. going through. Um, and then they're going to do that Echoes in the Canyon thing. They're going to do a concert, her and um, Brandy really? Carlisle, an actual. Oh, wow. An actual concert. I, yeah. he- I heard that she was going to yeah. go do a show somewhere. Okay, so maybe that was the e- one I, I heard about. I think it's called Echoes in the Canyon, and I think tickets are on sale now or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're going to go? I'm not going to go, no. Oh. But I know some people. Where is it? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm assuming it's in California, mm. right? Oh, right. I, I, but I truly, I don't really know where it is. I don't know much about it, except was, I've just seen the... What's the name of that canyon that they all lived in? Yeah, Laurel, Laurel, Laurel Canyon. Canyon. Yeah. Right, right. yeah, so I'm thinking it, maybe it's somewhere around there, but I, that I, would be a good I spot truly for don't it. really know where it is. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. probably li- looking at us saying, why are they talking about Joni Mitchell? Yeah, yeah. When Natalie's got a brand new album out yesterday. <laughs> yeah. um, don't forget, oh, and she has merch. Get that in the camera. You've got your own oh, water bottle. I do have my own water beautiful. bottle. That's beautiful. 
I did not know this. Mugs and and sweat <laughs> sweatshirts Get and out. t-shirts and a hoodie? Sti- and stickers, a hoodie. You can basically have anything you want with with my logo on it. Oh man. Yeah. I just had a, like a weird you can get idea. Get off my website. Get Natalie a bunch of people Hamilton. together. Com. We'll do like a flash mob scene. With everybody wearing <laughs> Natalie Hamilton hoodies. I know. I, I should have just like. We'll have to be on campus though. <laughs> yeah. Should have yeah, just yeah. worn like head to toe <laughs> Natalie Hamilton music like just stuff. A onesie. My hat, my onesie, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Slippers. <laughs> you know, just 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 so people know that I'm very classy. You know, <laughs> you are very classy. You can tell by your music. Oh. Very classy music, and you play piano. I do. So, yeah. are, and you were classically trained, right? No, somewhat. Oh my God, no. You went to school one year, right? I went to music <laughs> school. I went to two semesters at Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and then I left. Um, and then, a couple years later, I did go back for one semester. So in total, I, I have about three semesters of music school under my belt. Um, but then I went to, I ultimately went to Brooklyn College, which is part of um, City University of New York, got a business and marketing degree, which is why I can make water <laughs> bottles. There you go. You, you <laughs> found your niche. You found what you got to do. <laughs> you know, I, I should rewind. We were talking about the essential Western New England songbook. Mm-hmm. H- has life changed for you since being distinguished with that honor? I think it's Do people come up to you on the street now? And no, I can't. I can't say that anybody's come up to me on the street. <laughs> but I, it feels special to me. You know, it's nice to be a part of it something. It was definitely well-deserved. Thank you. That's an amazing song. Show you my love. Thank you. Were you, were you going to do that one or... Well, uh, George doesn't know it, and I don't think I have a chart for it. We could stream it if you want to play it. All right. It's well, on Bandcamp. I, I, maybe at the end of the show. Okay. Um, I've, I've been playing it the past couple of weeks. Everybody's probably heard it already. I want to play something else off the new album, right? Mm-hmm. And then we'll come back and do a live one? Sounds good. Okay. So we're going to do God and Dawn. Is there any like difference in this, this cut on this new album? Compared to what you've um, released in like the past? Compared to like that other one. Yeah, like the, the mix. The mm-hmm. mix is different. Okay. Other cool. than that, it's the same form, same musicians. It's a different mix. And mm. master. NatalieHamiltonMusic.com, right? No, no. NatalieMusic.com. No, Natalie NatalieHamilton.com. Hamilton. And then at NatalieHamiltonMusic is the Instagram, it's right? Instagram and um, Twitch. Or you can just Google Natalie Hamilton. She's yeah, there. you can Google me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to, okay, here we go. God and Dawn. God and Dawn. Anything you want to say about what the song's about to preface this um, experience I mean, for I everybody? guess the only thing I'd say is that it is, it is inspired by um, a William Blake poem called The Tiger, which spelled T-Y-G-E-R, which was uh, first published in uh, 1794. Oh, wow. And I read it, and it just kind of blew my mind I sort of just lived with that for a while and then um, you know so I wonder why it said the tiger song now that makes sense yeah yeah wow so there's that cool All right, let's listen Uh, can't wait Mm -hmm. God and Dawn Natalie Hamilton 90.1 WECS something different hello I'm here today with um Natalie Hamilton and George, I forget your last Lesu. name. Lesu. Lesu. Okay. Um, that was amazing. That was God and Dawn, the, the Tiger song, the right? The Tiger song. That, it oh. sounded completely different from what I remember. Oh, okay, good. But it was, and I mean, I, I still it. loved it. I Thank don't know. You. I'm just trying to remember now what, what I heard before. <laughs> well, um, you know. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll, after the show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we only have a few minutes left. All right, so yeah. Anything you need to to say hi to um to your fans to let oh, the I'd public like, know? I'd like to. You want to go over some shows you're com- going to be doing? Yeah, yeah, yes. Let yeah, me do that. Um, so every well, first of all, I just want to thank everyone who's bought the album so far off of um, Bandcamp because it's very 
helpful to me as an artist. So thank mm. you. I want to thank all my Twitch fans because they are a whole other level of fan that they're like friends and family. So hey, Twitch folk. And um, I am playing every Wednesday night at eight, about 8 to 10 p.m. I play at 1928 Cocktail Club which is like a speakeasy in um, Brantford, Connecticut. Cool. It's a nice club, very chill, um, little stage. So that's every Wednesday night. And on Saturday, November 26th, I'll be doing an album release show at 1928 Cocktail Club with a full band. Um, and that will be great. And you're doing something, a brunch coming up, right? Yep. Quattros? Uh, let's see. Quattros and Guilford. And tomorrow night, or not tomorrow night, Monday night, I'll be with uh, singing with the big band, uh, Tuxedo Junction. Ooh, cool. Big band, which is super fun. Um, yeah. Did you I'll have be doing another recording session soon at Power Station New England here in um, Connecticut. It's an amazing studio. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wow. So you are busy. Yeah. <laughs> And building, like, literally a guy is at my house right now working on building a home studio so that cause George and I are riding more together. And I just, I realize, like, yeah, I really need to be able to do this from my home. There's so much that you can do just in a, a good home studio cool. nowadays. Um, so I'm, I'm jumping on that bandwagon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Out of um, necessity, if nothing more. What what song do you want to do next? Do you see you yeah, something so that's not on the album, right? So this also is not on the album, but this will be released uh, sometime in 2023, probably. And who are we producing it with? We're producing it with Steve Rogers. Really? Yep. Yeah. Steve and Peter Rogers? Yep. Steve yes. is who's at my house still right now. Get him. Working on problems. So I just had, to, I was like, Steve, I got to get to this radio show. I got to leave. He's like... <laughs> All right, I'm like, there's club soda in the <laughs> there's club soda in the fridge, man. He's like, okay. He's I awesome. I actually we were we were troubleshooting something, or he was, and I saw a little text come through just before, and it says, I got it. <laughs> so I like can't wait to call. He was on the phone. He called his brother who lives out somewhere to help him, and so he was freaking out. We were like having trouble getting this problem solved. So he's like, I got it. Steven, 860-456-2164. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I want Steven to come down next. Okay. Definitely. He just, I'll he tell him. An album. Yeah, he released an album. Yes, yeah. yes. And I just saw him at the um, Glastonbury okay. Apple Harvest Festival. Oh, cool. He was, he was amazing. Good. Yeah. Maybe we can all like come together. That'd be awesome. That would be fun. And I'll tell you something off the air, too. Okay. Oh, off the air. Watch out. Watch uh -oh. out, Steve. We're getting the goods uh -oh. on you <laughs> if you ever hear this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's do this song because we're running out of time. Yeah, we're running out of time. So this is a song George and I wrote, and um, I think this is the first time we've actually sung it together. Oh, cool. Because uh, he, you know, did some guitar parts, and then I went and wrote, you know, lyrics and melodies and whatnot and let's try it together why not <laughs> that's what this is all about today <laughs> trying things you ready don't let me go Inside and stay a while Fires on the stove You can feel my atmosphere Coming from the cold You've known Don't let me go Sheer delight circles around the sun. We could be as lovers are, we could be as one, my love, my love. Your lovers dance in sheer delight circles around the sun. We could be as lovers are, 
we could be as one, my love, my love, don't let me go. for a moment and just blown away it's angelic voice and oh, well-written song thank you great guitar work yes, amazing thank you, George. Thank you. George and I lost I forgot your name again Lassou. 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 <laughs> <George> <laughs> I'm just horrible <laughs> so do you have a website and anything like George that Lassou.com. George how do you spell Lassou L-E I w. Let me turn your microphone on. Hold on. <laughs> no, it is on. Off. Okay. No, just getting closer. Yeah. L e s i w. Thank you. G e r g e l e s i w dot com. There we go. Cool. Um, I want to play a quick game because we're running out of time. Okay. Real quick. It's called lyrical ponderings. Okay. I'm going to give you the name of a song. We're going to play a game. Okay. That's in the form of a question. Okay. So, like, what is love by Hadaway? Mm-hmm. What is love? What is love? <laughs> oh. That that what is love? That what voice, love? that voice. Don't hurt me. So, I'll, don't uh, hurt me. <laughs> no more. Oh my god. I give you a song title love? and oh. you tell me who sang it or if you can't get it you have to answer the question. Okay. So pick a number between 1 and 200. Say it out loud? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna no, don't show it. anybody. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> it's not a card trick. Eight. <laughs> okay, number eight. Lucky eight. Lucky Perfect. Number eight. Ooh. 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 Our friends electric. Our friends electric. So that's a lyric. That's the the song title. That's the title of the song. Our friends electric. I've never heard this song. Neither have I. I don't think I've ever heard this song. It's um. Well, you have to answer the question then. Okay, so what's the question? Are friends electric? Oh, are friends electric? Oh, I think absolutely they are. Everything, expound, everything expound. is... Expand. <laughs> oh, expand upon that? I mean, come on. You know when you meet somebody. And absolutely. Like, it's electric. It's like it's as soon electric. as you walked in the room, it was like, wow. Right? Natalie Hamilton's here. She yeah. lit up the room. <laughs> Some people, you got to watch out, right, because some people, um, maybe they can't turn on their own light and they don't have their own energy source going on inside and then they kind of suck it out of you. You got to kind of watch out for that a bit. And other people get amplified when someone like you walks in the room. Yeah, because probably because I have my own light on inside. Yeah, and you share that light. (laughs) It's hard to turn it off sometimes. (laughs) Where are we going? I have some insomnia issues. (laughs) (laughs) So that was originally done by... Gary Newman, um, Tube Way Army is the, the band wow, that Gary Newman's in. I don't know who Gary in. Newman is. I've heard the name Gary Newman. That's, <laughs> I think. All right. No for that about that. I know Natalie Randy Hamilton. Newman. Yes. One of my Randy favorites. Newman. One of my favorites. If you could cover a Randy Newman song, what would it be? Oh, well. Um, Short people. I think it's fine. <laughs> That's my go-to, yeah. yeah. 
I think it's going to rain today. I don't know that one. Oh my god. It's <gasps> like one of the most just devastatingly gorgeous songs I've ever heard. Oh cool. You you you've never heard listen. that song. Oh my god. I will listen. You got to listen to that. Okay. But get ready to cry. You know, heads up. All right, everybody, can you see this released yesterday? Released just yesterday. Songs, songs for, for sorrow. sorrow. I'm showing Instagram. Hi Instagram. <laughs> There's 12 oh, songs the on here. You will not hear these anywhere else. 12 so No, you won't hear them anywhere else. Gary, Randy Newman, Gary Newman, they haven't done any of these songs, but Natalie <laughs> Hamilton has. Yeah. So I highly recommend you go to Bandcamp or whatever venue, uh, whatever platform you use. Yep. Twitch, Discord. No, Discord's yeah. just for talking. Well, right? if you go to my website, NatalieHamilton.com, you can find everything you need Everything. From there. Everything you need is at NatalieHamilton.com. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you very much. Uh, we've got the New Music Alliance Radio Hour up in just a second. Thank you, George. Thank you, Natalie. Thank, thank you. you. Can, Can I ask a fast question? Is there a way to hear this? to stream this again online or does it disappear into the I'm going to put it up on YouTube and you can listen to it anytime day or night 24 hours a day I'll, I'll make sure to share that with <laughs> my friends on Twitch <laughs> and elsewhere Thank you Natalie Thank you Thank you George Thank you sir